If you have any experience with winter camping, you may have noticed that the colder it gets outside, the worse that canister stoves tend to perform. And at certain temperatures, other things held constant, they stop performing entirely. I'll go through the science around exactly why this happens and more in a future video where I interview my friend, fellow Michigan Tech alum and PhD thermodynamics expert, Bill Mose. For now, understand that the pressure inside your fuel canister is dependent on the temperature of the fuel. So in winter, as the temperature drops, so too does your canister pressure. If this canister pressure drops below the atmospheric pressure of the air outside your canister, then your fuel isn't going to be able to escape its container, i.e nothing will flow to your burner. One thing I find interesting around making these videos is that out of hundreds of thousands of viewers, only about 3% of my audience is actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoy what you've seen so far, please help me to keep delivering quality content to you by hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you like, feel free to tip me in proportion to the amount of value that you feel you've derived from these videos. You can do so at the link on my channel's homepage, buymeacoffee.com slash Joshua Johnson Outdoors. Now here's the simple hack. The scenario I've just described demonstrates a direct correlation between temperature and pressure. So to increase your canister pressure, all you need to do is warm up your fuel. This can be done in a variety of different ways, such as using a preheat gel or paste, taking the necessary safety precautions, or even just warming the canister against your body. Granted, this could take a while and wouldn't be very comfortable. Assuming your stove is already functioning just enough to ignite, one of the most effective methods is dipping your canister into a small cup of water, such as can be seen here. Thanks for watching.